Hello and welcome to the channel. <laughs> what a great day out there. How are you doing? Hope you're good. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this uh, multi, you know, multi kind of artist uh, Afrobeat. It's a very dope Afrobeat. Yeah, it's going to go with uh, Joe Boy, Fireboy, Davido, Tua Savage, uh, Burner Boy, whoever, you know, it's a very good Afrobeat. So, I call it the industry Afrobeat. And before we go into this tutorial, I would like you to click the subscribe button, drop your comments below, hit the like button, and hit the notification icon in case anytime I drop a beat, you will be notified. Let's go into this beat right away. And first thing for this beat, what I started actually with, what I actually started with was the melody. And for the melody, I use purity. I'm going to be showing you bit by bit how I did this bit with all. I'm going to be telling you uh, all the all the stops I use in this bit. And for the purity, I use this sound called delay time. Yes. So, let's go into it. As you can see. So, you could follow this bit. This what I'm doing bit by bit. You could pause it. You know, play and you know, try to make this beat follow follow all the steps here, follow all the way I did it. Our tempo, our BPM or tempo is 97. Then the next thing I did was um I think the next thing I did on this beat was another purity again. And for this, I use a marimba, I think. This should be a marimba. Yeah, this is a marimba under the bell pack. Bell and pack. I use the marimba and this is the sound of the marimba. Yeah, so that's it. So I, so I said earlier, you could follow these steps, steps by step to see how I did this and you could get this beat. If you can get the beat, you can use it or whatever. You're free to. So for the next thing I did, uh, I think the next thing I did was a very catchy something, you know, a very catchy stuff in the beat. And that is, uh, I played uh, with morphine. Uh, uh, under the morphines, I went to... Uh, to the strings and under the strings i use this str elect guitar nuc and this is the this is what i did with it you know i actually use the root note i actually use the root note from this from the purity to create this and this is what i actually did with it so you as you can see it so what i did this is what i did so let me play it so y'all can get it. As you can see, there is this, uh, I have this, this, this down here. It sounds doom, de doom, 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 de doom, doom. So that's it for this one. And the next thing I did was um uh, uh I went into uh doing some of the bass and for the bass one of the bass I used was uh, uh this costume bass I created this costume uh, 808 I created I have this costume 808 I created so this is the sound I had to slide this this is a slide this is where I slide it you could you could hear a lot of slides. Dope, right? <laughs> so you know, when doing Afro beats or when doing most beats, I, 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 I love to to have. And it away than it, you know, it gives it that much feel, you know, you 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 get some kind of quality, you get some kind of you know vibe from the 808. That's if you could use if you can use your 808 very well. Uh I'll be dropping a lot of videos on how to use 808s. Don't worry about that very soon. Uh for those who are still trying to come up. And the next thing I did, um 
I think it was um a saxophone. And for the saxophone, this was what I did. So you could see how I did it step by step. So you could follow this and try to get it. And uh, the next thing I did was um, I used Morphine. Morphine. A Let Fat MC from Morphine. I, it's under, I think it should be under, it should be on, it's under leads. I used it under leads and this is what I did with it. Dope, right? So, you know, some of these things are some of the things that make up a beat. Some of the, they could be some of the catchy things that, you know, uh, entices someone to say, yeah, this beat is dope. You know, some of these leads, you know, some of the leads you play are the ones that lead the beat, you know, give it some kind of, you know, vibe. Um, and I think the next thing I did, I used Nexus. And under the Nexus, I think I used um, the plug and hands up bell one. Hands up bell one. If you can hear it very well, it's panning from left to right. So I had to sp increase the spread from here. As you can see, this spread here, I had to increase the, sp the spread. I increased the spread to one, two, seven, you know, to, you know, give it that spready sound, to give it that stereo sound, that white sound. So. You could see this, so you could copy exactly follow me and do this beat too see where i'm doing it and i think there's another thing i did something i did with the melody uh i think there was a bass guitar i played i think there was a bass guitar i played okay yeah i use this the 3x osc is a the, uh you know a default uh vst in the fl studio so this was what i did with it and check this out maybe you could copy it too dope right so uh, and i think um uh one of the things i did again okay now uh i had to go into you know drumming and this was the pattern for the drum this was what i did for the drums look at the kick yeah this is what i did with the kick this was what i did with the kick and then when i came to do the rim when i came to create my rim uh you know the rim was just going straight the rim was actually going straight the rim was actually going straight so when i noticed the rim was actually going straight so when i noticed the rim was going straight i had to increase my swing i had to swing up up to 40 percent yeah 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 so you could see the pattern i did for the rim even from uh the channel rack you could see it clearly and then one of the things i did uh that i didn't do myself i just had to import uh a shaker a shaker loop and this is how the shaker loop sounds like So that's what that was what I did, and I think for something to you know give it more feel, I had to like um, okay where the breaks are, for the song I used a, a, a roll from Saba samples. Yo, this is dope, right? Shout out to Saba, they've been putting a lot of dope works out there. I think I've bought a lot of uh, drums uh, loops from them and whatever I've been using them. They've been source of guide for me. And the next thing I put was after after my uh, roll, I put something, a clap. Okay, not a clap. It was a, a crash. A soft crash. And then one of the things that I did, I had this two, another 
uh, another shake, uh, another uh, drum feel with a clap. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I think that was all I did for the beat. And so for now, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play the whole beat so you are gonna hear it, and you know have uh, a, a total you know understanding of how this beat sounds like, how dope it is. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop your comments below. If you have anything, you can drop any 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 query, any comments for me below. I'm gonna re I'm gonna reply you. If you have any problem, you want me to drop any tutorial for you, yeah. Let me know in the com in the description, in the comments, whatever. I'm going to reply you soon. So here is our beat for the day. Thank you.